So the first step is to log into your Keeper Vault. Then once you're in, you'll see a nice list of entries as well as credentials. Now for this demo, I'll be using the Ben Barrett Telemark credential. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Remote Desktop Manager and create a new entry. And I'm going to go ahead and select Keeper. Here's where I can name that credential list as well as put in my email and Keeper password. I'm going to click the three little dots there and you'll notice that now I can see all the credentials that are stored in my Keeper Vault. Now I'm selecting Always Prompt with Lists. What this is going to do is whenever I launch a session using those credentials, it'll prompt for which credential I want to use. Now let's use this Telemark DC1 RDP session and we're going to go to the properties. In credentials, I'm going to use credential repository and select my keeper passwords. Now I'm going to click OK and go ahead and open that session. You'll notice that the password list popped up and I'm going to select Ben Barrett and click OK. Now the RDP session is just launched using Ben's credentials injected directly into the session. You may want to do this automatically so you don't have to choose it from the password list. So let's take a look at that now. So now I'm going to right click on the session and go to the properties and instead of choosing from the list each time, I'm actually going to manually select it. Now when I open the session, the credentials will automatically be injected and account brokering has successfully completed.